What's going on Patreon and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over an anti-flower to isopop step through. So the move is going to look like this. All right, so grab your hoops and let's get started. So the first part of the move is this anti-spin flower. Have the hoop out in front of you and you're gonna begin spinning the hoop over to your opposite side. So as the hoop is falling, that means that it's falling over to your opposite side. Now what we're going to do is bring the hoop around our body in four different points. So the four different points are across, above, to the side, and down below. As the hoop is spinning, we're just going to extend our arm to these four points until we get comfortable. But the idea of an anti-spin is so that it only rotates once around our body. Instead of having it rotate a couple times and then moving on to the next point, we're going to have it spin only once and we're going to keep on moving. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is the anti-spin flower or anti-flower. As the hoop is out to the side, we're going to grab the hoop and we're gonna go into an iso pop. So how we do that is by bringing the hoop in towards our body, just like this, and we're going to extend our arm out and over to our opposite side. So again, we're going to be in this position here after our flower. Here, bring it in, and we're going to extend the hoop out. And as we extend the hoop out, we're going to push and release, and then bring our hand back in. So once we release, we're going to allow the hoop to roll over the back of our hand, and then we're going to grab the hoop and then bring it back down. So that is the basics of an isopop. We're going to extend, push out, release, and regrip. So we're gonna extend and release, let it roll over the back of our hand, regrip, and then bring it back down. So for this move, instead of bringing the hoop back in front of us, what we're going to do is extend the hoop out, and as the hoop is coming back in, we're going to lift up our dominant leg, and we're going to step through the hoop. So it's gonna look like this, out and then in. From here, what we're going to do is just bring the hoop over our body so that we're in this position right here and we're gonna go into a wedgie. So from here, you're going to lift up your opposite leg and you're gonna immediately go into a wedgie. And then we're going to finish in a lock. So when the hoop is approaching your back, you're just going to sneak your hands in and you're going to catch the hoop in this position right here. Okay, so let's go over that move one last time. We're gonna have the move spinning over to our opposite side to go into our anti-spin flower. We're going to hit all four points with one rotation. So again, the four points are across, above, to the side, and down below. So instead of having it rotate around your hand, we're just gonna let it spin once. We're gonna go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. From here, we're gonna bring the hoop in towards our body, and then we're going to isolate so that our hand is now at six o'clock or at the bottom of the hoop. From here, we're gonna go into the iso pop, we're gonna extend and release, and as we release and the hoop is recoiling back over to our body, we're going to step through with our dominant leg, and we're gonna bring the hoop up and lock in this position right here. You're gonna bring your hands in and you're gonna lift up that opposite leg so that you can go into a wedgie. And then when the hoop is about to touch your back, you're gonna sneak your hands in and we're gonna end in this position right here. So here's that move one last time in slow motion. Last 
All right, Hoovers, I hope you enjoyed that little combo. If you have any questions, as always, do not hesitate to ask, and happy Hoover Day.